Today in Budapest, the action continues in the ISL season. On day one, the European teams led the charge as London roared into first, and the local hero, Katinka Hose, who led the iron and the race for MVP. Now, along with the teams from New York and Los Angeles, they're back in the pool as the race for the championship final in Las Vegas continues. It's the ISL, the world's first and only professional swimming league. National Swimming League welcomes you back to Budapest, the capital of Hungary, a country passionate about swimming. And tonight, they get to watch swimming reimagined day two of the Budapest match here at the Duna Arena. This place is electric. We're so glad you're with us. Bernie Gunther alongside Team GB Olympians Mark Foster, Karen Pickering. Glad you are so glad to have you aboard here in Hungary. And if day one was any indication of what we're about to see, you are in for a treat. The coaching staff, they made some adjustments on day one. You see the Team Iron right now, they are sitting in third place, but they are well within contention because if they win the skins like they did a week ago in Dallas, anything can happen. Right now, though, it's the London War in the lead trying to win back to back meets as we take a look at what happened on day number one. It was a huge day for the London War as they welcomed in breaststroke sensation Adam Keaty, and he didn't disappoint. He opened up his ISL debut, winning the 50-meter breaststroke, and then he followed up with a third-place finish and the 200 breast. And how about Katinka Hosu? She roared in front of this crowd, an impressive performance. She is going to swim eight events over the course of two days, and she's our current MVP in the standings. And how about the young Australian swimming sensation, swimming for the London Roar. Nina Afterton almost broke the world record in both the 200 back and the 50 back, and we'll see her swim the 100 back tonight. And Vladimir Morozov, our MVP from a week ago, he was out to a strong start. He won the 53 sauna. He can win the skins tonight. Certainly, you would look to see him at the top of the MVP standings. And that's what makes it so exciting, Mark, is there are so many athletes in contention to try to win the MVP. And there is, and they're all coming from different disciplines. You've got some sprinters in there. Katinka, obviously, middle distance swimmer. Um, but there's only a couple of points separating the lots of them. There's a lot more swimmers to come, though. And McKeon, last week, she surprised everyone as she got into the final of the skin. She is currently tied for second with 21 and a half points. But anything can happen in the team battle. Anything can happen in the MVP rattle just because the skins are at the conclusion of this day. Yeah, and, and on the skins, there's a lot more points up, to, up at stake. But I mean, the bottom line is a lot of swimming to, to come between now and then and a lot of fast swimming to come. I mean, hopefully, I might even see tonight our first world record in ISL swimming. All right, here we go. We are going to start things off with the 100 freestyle. New York will be in one and two. Vanilla Bluma, we're going to see her lane number two. Kind of disappointing start the first two weeks, but they've kind of held her back. Only going to see her send the 100 freestyle and the skins likely tonight. You know, Gastardella, she is a swimmer that can, she can do everything for this LA current team, can't she? Yeah, and that's what you want in your, in, your, in your team. You want somebody that can step up and do different events where you're slightly weak, but they can give you that advantage. But the favorite's got to be Kate Campbell. She's going to be in lane number six. She won this race by a half a second a week ago. But Renomi Kobajojo, she was second a week ago. She's hoping that this home crowd can kind of boost her over the top. But Kim Kobajojo, Kate Campbell, that's how it sets up. And this is what's big, is Team Iron trying to overcome the London Roar to get one of those final slots in Las Vegas. They're going to need to do it here on the final day. Absolutely. Only, only two teams from Europe and two teams from the USA can go to the final. And every race, points for at stake. Looking very 
really good to open things up here on day number two. But look at McKeon. McKeon closing. McKeon's going for the win. And it's going to be one, two. And McKeon out touches Tate Campbell. This whole oh, home run. It's <laughs> oh, time. Tie. There's a tie in the first race. Teammates, wow. they don't care which way it goes. But what a race. It doesn't start any better than that. That closing speed for McKeon on a final 25. That's awesome. They're both, both those girls there, fast and tough for the world. Kumar Jojo there, second from the right. Great start. Looked like she was going to attack the race, but they just fell away. Kate Campbell here with Emma McEwen closing quickly at the end of the race. All on the touch. And it was tight. Those guys won't mind though. One and two for London Raw, maximum points. A week ago, one and four, now one and two. Great start for them. There you go, eight points they have to split for that first place finish, so a total of 16 points for the London Roar. Good performance by the New York Breakers, they get nine points, seven for the Iron, five for the LA Current, and Karen Pickering is down for the winners. Whoa. And that, that was a tie for first place, ladies, and a great start for London Roar. Couldn't ask for better, could you? Could not ask for a better start. Uh, it's great to be back out racing again. The atmosphere out here is electric, and yeah, what a way to start for the London Roar. Emma, you are finishing so strong. Um, yeah, well, I guess that's kind of what the aim is for, to get the points on the board and um, to come home quick and do a fast finish is kind of what we needed. Perfect start. Kate Campbell, Emma McKeon trying to help London Roar punch their ticket to Las Vegas. They look really good at the top of the standings along with Emma McKeon's points. If they can get a win to do this, it's now time for the day. Last November, certainly he is somebody that can certainly challenge, and he was the MVP a week ago. This is going to be another close to this race. Morisov, you'll see him take out hard. Six, then Morisov slightly behind me. What's Morisov got? He'll, he'll come back. A bit. This is just definitely not over yet. Only seven hundredths of a second separate them last week. Let's see how, how close this ends up at the end. Thomas, Chadwick, Adrian racing. 25 meters remaining in a huge turn. Kyle Thomas comes out flying. And London, they win both under freestyles. What a final 50 for the Olympic champion. That's a great time, 45.77. That's a what, joint fastest time in the world this year with Caleb Dressel. And Adrian in third, so the result was the same as it was in Dallas. Both of the swims obviously came right here in the International Swimming League because Caleb Dressel, a part of the Cali Condors, two weeks ago in Italy in Naples, the fastest man on the planet currently. Uh, Morosov, as you said there, though, uh, Bernie, point one, point one, point one, point one, second off the world record, just slightly off form here, coming back at the end of the race, though, fighting to the wall. Jane is just, Char Char is just too strong. And Carl, two victories for London Raw in the first two races. You couldn't ask for a better start for the team. Yeah, exactly right. We had a strong day yesterday again. Um, it's about building on that, but our sprint events are really good, so... It's good to get a few wins to start with, so yeah, very happy with that. Great job. Thanks so much. Well, you're seeing it play out just like it did a week ago in Dallas. Freestyle, that is a huge event for the London Roar. It really helps when it comes to the relay, because the relay is a 4x100 freestyle relay. OK, you've got the medley relay too, but there's a 4x100 mixed med uh, freestyle relay too, so they pick their team really tough. And Emma McKeon, a week ago, a point and a half off of being the MVP. At the top, after the first 200 freestyles, as we turn our attention now to the women's 100 meter breaststroke, this is an event that has really favored the New York Breakers. Theresia Larson won this event a week ago. She'll be in lane number two. 
Casey and Elaser and Jennifer Colisee Saul in three and four. You'd expect that Cindy Pickram, this is an event she was six a week ago that she could certainly find the protocol. She'll be number five for the number four. Yeah, it's one of these situations where, but, you know, I think athletes, they, they love racing. They do all this training. They train six days a week. They do a lot of yards in the pool. They do a lot of weights in the gym. They have a lot of physio, they have a lot of recovery work, but this is what they this is what they train for. They love stepping out in an arena with an audience. And Ali Atkins said she won a 50 breaststroke. She is going to be in lane number seven. It's interesting because Brigio Larson and Aliyah Atkinson both swam at the same university. Atkinson was the first ever NCAA champion for Texas A&M, and Larson thought that she'd have a chance to swim with her as a senior. Atkinson goes on to graduate. Larson didn't get ever a chance to compete with her. Now they're competing against one another on opposite teams. Opposite sides of the board as well. Aaliyah Atkinson is the joint world record holder, 102.36 seconds again. But it, it just shows you when you've got a program like this, you've got to work hard. 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 you over there in lane number seven. Won the 50 yesterday, second in this event a week ago. She doesn't want to come second again. Jal Akinen out in lane number eight. You can hear the crowd in Budapest trying to urge Atkinson in. They know what an important final day it is. Team Iron, they've got to finish in second place if they're going to have any chance of trying to make it to Las Vegas. And Atkinson trying to lead the way. Second a week ago, Atkinson winning it here at home. They are the change of standards from last week. That's Aaliyah there on the start. He's got a great start, took some nearly half a body length off the other swimmers. Very powerful athlete. Great sprinter. He's coming to the third turn. Leading by half a body length. Off the wall, streamlined position. Hold it as long as possible. You don't want to swim as much as you can. Try and stand under the water, use that glide. Coming to the wall, keeping a tempo. The other swimmer's coming back in a bit. She had too much of a greater lead. First in the standings from last week, last in second this week, and consumer. And it moves Team Iron into second place by two points over the LA Current. Atkinson leading the way, getting the win, and 13 points total for Team Iron. Elia, that was a great swim. You were never headed in that race. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good coming off the 200. I wanted to make sure I still had some sprints, but it came together. And important points for Team Iron. Indeed, um, I think that was our best placing in the 100, so we're up and up and up. Congratulations. Thank you. Atkinson getting a little congratulations. Still have a, a relay to go, and we're going to see Atkinson swim some events that you don't typically see her swim later on, as it's now time to welcome in Ben's 100 meter breaststroke. Adam Peaty, the fastest breaststroker in the world. We've already seen him win the 50 breaststroke. And this is what's big for the London War. They were third and fourth in this event a week ago. How much better does Adam Peaty make this team? Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say he guarantees a win, because he doesn't. It was long course, I'd say he would. But in short course, he's not a short course specialist. He's not so good off the walls. But winning the 50 yesterday, that was going to be the tightest race for him. He had a great 200 yesterday. This is his chosen event. He's psyched. I mean, I've spoken to him a few times. He just loves this format. I mean, look, it's one of these situations. In most international competitions, you're competing for yourself. He's a team player. He loves this. He's loving this. He's loving this crowd, loving this energy. Uh, and I would not bet against him over this 100 meters. It could be quite a tight race. 50 and 100 breaststroke. World champion in lane number five and right next to him felipe lima won this event in dallas a week ago michael andrew he'll be in lane number two he was second in dallas didn't have quite as difficult of a first day but everybody's going to be wanting to check out what adam pd does he's going to be in lane number five He's trying to get his second ISL win. It is team already on top by a big margin. 
Off the start there, Peter giving a little bit of distance away, like he does. It's not the best starter, like I said, or not the best turn in the world, but his swimming speed is just phenomenal. He's got the best technique in the world, he's the most efficient swimmer. But it's Pagoda taking it out down here on the first lane. First 50, I should say. Yeah, Pagoda, Didi, Lima, Taxing, almost synchronized swimming. Lima was only eight one hundred behind PD the first fifty, but here goes PD turning it on in the second fifty. Yeah, this is where the swing speed comes in. Turning around three lengths, one lap to go. PD now in control. He's almost a completely different swimmer, closing out races just like yesterday in the fifty. PD closes out the win in the one hundred. And his team goes first and third. 56.19 seconds. It's not his best, but it's the fastest time in the world this year. Two ISL wins and a third place finish in the 200 breaststroke. Not a bad ISL debut weekend for Adam Peaty. It's a great ISL de debut. And he's, and he's not a short course, so he doesn't swim short course very often, but given the opportunity to step into this competition in this environment. He was the first one to jump in it. You can see there, he's got the, 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 the line tattoo on his arm. He couldn't be any other team apart from the London Law. Not bad. I think he thought it was OK. His team liked it. And now the Roar of Port approaching 300 points. First and third combined, they get 15 points. As Adam Peaty has his second ISL win. Adam, you love an occasion like this. I just saw you getting excited about the overall team points. You're a real team player. Yeah, especially when it comes to this even more. You know, if tonight I'm in hard work, I'm not shaving, but I still got down to nearly my best time. So that proves it. It's just all about tactics, where you put your energy. I knew yesterday was going to be a hard day. And off the back of that, you know, I performed there with Kirill and we do the job. You certainly did. Well done. Thank you. And it's now time. 400 freestyle next in the pool here in Budapest. Let's welcome in all participants. And I think the hardest thing about 400 freestyle mark is the fact that what a cooling schedule this is. 16 individual events, three relays. Some of these swimmers are swimming over 1,000, 1,200, 1,400 meters in the two days. And it's in two days that they're doing all this racing. At the same race. I mean, look at what you said. You think about the training program. They're doing some 8,000, 6,000 meters a session. They, they can do the distance, but it's at the distance at this level with a short rest in between. That's why I said none of these swimmers have done this type of competition before, but they seem to be embracing it. They're from, you know, you're, you're talking about people that are from different countries, normally competing against each other, now competing for one another. Yes, we're in a race, race who wants to touch the ball first, but they're, they're also winning their teammate on. London War. This is going to be in five. Alongside Maria Belmonte. And that's where having a swimmer like Belmonte kind of really changes the game. The Spaniards, 16 World Championships, four Olympic medals, but you see what she swims, even in Rio, 200 fly, 400 IM, 800 free, 400 free and 200 IM. Do a few events. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of these things, you know, when you bring it up, someone like Peter Decky, who, who generally swims uh, middle distance, long distance freestyle. But Monty, because she's an IM swimmer, obviously swimming all the strokes, she can she'll turn her hand to anything, turn her hand to anything pretty well. Right? So a great addition to the London team, because they can fill some spots with her. She can pick up lots of uh, well-needed points. I mean, they're winning at the moment. You see by the scores, it's a kind of story of the two races. Right? You've got London leading the way, and it's about second place at the moment. But these things can change. Back down to the floor, I take care of Yeah, I'm with um, Ray Bono, an assistant uh, coach for Lutterdor, and the personal coach of Maria Belmonte. She's been a really important addition to this team because she's so versatile. Yeah, she can swim pretty much everything from the two load up, so uh, it's really good to have Miria in the team. Now, racing this, uh, this whole load, we're going to see uh, the Russian is taking off pretty fast, so you know the strength of Miria is the back end two load, so it's using the game now, it's pretty, pretty positive. 
we'll, uh, we'll see how she can pick up the, the race at the halfway. Let's see how she goes. Yeah, look at the start. Again, just after the breaststroke, we kind of flip off to get LA Curry jumped in front of Team Iron. But Team Iron, they're off to a really good start here in the quarter three shot of the top of the pool. Yeah, and then they need some points. We're going to get one or two here. So I need points. They need to put up some more points in the relay zone because they have double points. And obviously, when it comes to the skinnies again, we've got Morosov going. He won the skinnies over in Dallas a week ago. Can he do the same again? They'll need him to. They can't afford to come third overall in this team competition. They need to come second because London, the most time, is going to be the desire. They need to say close to the ball. See, at the bottom, Howard scored nine points for first all the way down to only a point for eighth place. And that's where it's key is you love to win as many races as you possibly can, but you want to avoid that kind of first and eighth. If you don't need the minimum high standard, you even worse for you don't even get a point for that eighth place finish. Yeah, that's that, you know, we've seen that happen in a few of the races here, Brian. So many people have not swam incredibly fast in the end. They're still swimming fast, but they've not been the time requirement. You get a minus point. It's obviously no. Like, when it's, when it's points mean prizes and points mean to go to Vegas, it's going to hurt them. To the top of the pool, it's Iron leading the way in one and two. Kelsey from Hungary, from the Iron, I should say, and Drusenko, also from Iron, they're leading one and two at the moment. They need, they need this. Javier Kelsey, 18 years old, second last week to Ale Devin, who's now with the London board this week. She was fourth at the World Championship. In fact, this final has three of the eight finalists that competed in Wachu over the summer for the World Championship title. Hundred meters to go. Kelsey leading the way. Last week in the race went four oh two. The decky which was in the pool in Indianapolis about a month ago and now went three fifty four. Just missed the world record by point one second. So the love of this competition is great. It's a fast swimming, very competitive swimming. Talk to these athletes, particularly the athletes that are here from Hungary. They are so excited about bringing the ISL home here. This is one of the few swimming pools pool in the entire world that have this type of charm. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal response. I came here two years ago for the World Championships. I've obviously now here for this. It's got, a, it's got a great atmosphere with the roof. It keeps the noise in here. The acoustics are great. And also the Hungarian crowd. They love their swimming. They come in the droves. So this is what we need to see. Team Iron trying to get it done here in the 400 freestyle. Trying to move in the second. The crowd rolling. Anya Kelsey home in the 18-year-old. She's got the win for Team Iron, and it's a one-two finish. Yeah, been really struggling in the events. Particularly there, pumped. She's coming up soon. She's doing a bit for the team. The teammates, they couldn't have done any better. One-two, the best you can get. Really tapping the iron. That's going to move Team Iron comfortably into second place by 10 points. Anastasia Grobenko, she didn't meet the minimum time standard, so that'll take one point away for the LA Current. And the Iron into second, with London still leading here on day two of the Budapest match. And again, remember, Team Iron, a week ago they won both of the skins, so that could be a game changer. They could walk away, potentially, as the winners, because the skins are such a game changer. Yeah, when it comes down to the end, you see a lot of tactics in place. Some of the time you've seen, seen teams putting some swimmers out and putting some other swimmers in just because they've seen after some of the races how tired they are, maybe not up for it. That's when you need to strength and depth in your team to pull in other members of the team. That's when the stress comes in. And again, you're seeing the depth of an athlete like Zipper Strike and Eli to me. Set the world record in the 200 butterfly swimming in this 400 freestyle here. The 
championships, you really only see Milak compete in the fly. But here he is helping out his team, trying to will them potentially to a first place finish, and maybe they could win back to back events. Yeah, that's a Milak. The greatest tournament of fly swimmer in the world ever. The tournament of fly is a grueling <laughs> event. And if you can do that, he can make a 400 freestyle. It was Winnington, you see, in lane number five, winning this event a week ago. Andrew Salaskar, he's one of those athletes competing in 1,400 meters over the course of the two days. And two more. Get the schedule for Salaskar, two 400s, one of three and the four of IM, and then three 200s to the stroke. And he's done it very well. Very well. Very well. Very well. We're up there at the top of the pool in lane eight. We're looking across the field. Some of this quite good for now, early one, because the others can't really see the top across the pool. You can roughly see what's going on. You can't see everything, you can see it all from all. The guys in the middle are really using one another, pacing off one another. You said a liar winning to winning Dallas a week ago. 3.38 was the fastest, is the fastest time in the world this year at 3.38. Jacob Jeremy is down with the LA current assistant coach, Jack Roach. And uh, Jack, you're, you're known to some of the other coaches as the Yoda of swimming. How important is the relationship and trust that the swimmers have in you as much as their physical fitness for an event like this? You know, I, I believe there are only two things that shape our lives. It's people and events. And I guess the other part of that is there are only three things that you can train, and that's your body, your mind, and your craft. But I believe there's a fourth thing, and that's the spirit. And, the, and for somebody like Andrew Selesko, who's swimming multiple events, how, how much is it important really to mentally prepare him for a grueling schedule? I, I, that, that's likely very individual to, to each person. I have a long history with Andrew. We go back to when he was 16 years old and he's, uh, he's really gritty, he's very tough. He, like everyone else, he likes to come up and have affirmation of his strategies and what he plans on doing, but he actually just loves the challenge of a hard race. Well, you can certainly see that. Selaskar is one of those athletes, again, it really depends on what you swim, Mark, because Selaskar is going to swim this race, there's going to be a 10-minute break, and then he's going to jump into the pool and swim the 200 IM, and he may say, that sounds crazy, but he won the 200 IM a week ago with this exact same layout of a format. So obviously, quick turnaround doesn't hurt him. No, and I think it's one of these things, you think you plan for something, you know what to expect. Yes, he's going to get out of the pool tight. He'll get back into the swim down pool behind the curtains there, swim it out, give himself as much rest as possible. Uh, more of an iron swimming in his distance freestyle or mid distance freestyle, he can still do well, there's no doubt about that. But he's doing it for the team here. He's going to try and draw out and get a few points for the team. At the moment, Lion in second place. He's still 150 meters, 100 meters to go. He can turn that round into a potential sixth place, gain a couple more points. And as you say, get back up again, but it's winning to in five, leading the way. Fastest swim in the world this year, 338. And Winnington is only 19 years old, another young star for this London Roar team. Doug McLaughlin, who was third a week ago in Dallas. He's trying to battle it out in lane number two for second place, but Winnington, he's going to get the win. For the London Roar, unless Milak has an incredible final 25. Look at Milak, though. He is gunning. He's trying to fight for second place. Winnington is going to win it. And then Milak gets his hand on the wall second. Yeah, he got second by four one hundredths of a second there. And these are the differences that can make the difference when it comes to the end. Those points are just so important. When it comes to those tight finishes, if you can win 10 out of 10 tight finishes, you want 10 more points than the other team. You're taking points away from other teams too. Here on the start, Winnington. A little led from the start and dominated the race. Faster than he went a week ago. So again, the fastest time in the world this year. 
Did you find it easier to be out cruising in front, making everybody chase after you? I didn't get a chance to do that, Bernie, because 50 meters there was no, no <laughs> Actually, I must admit, when it came to heats in certain competitions, I blast the first half to blast 35 meters and just shut things down, because in my head, I had a little bit extra when it came to the next round when it came to the final. So you try and play some games, not only with your competitors, but also with yourself. Look at that. You see the importance of Milak getting his hand on the wall second, because now the iron, they're starting to get some separation from the LA current. And remember again, the skins are still to come. But this is going to be an important event for Team Iron because it's our first time that we have double points on the line here on day number two. Four by 100, Medley Relay. And it comes down to the strategy for all these teams of how do they want to set up their team? Are they going to go for the win? Are they going to try to split the relays? You've got 14 swimmers on the team, 12 individuals and competing individuals, then you've got two substitutes that have been coming for relays. Some of the teams have, on, their, on their relay swimmers have picked, just put some people in there that are just going to be some trump guards, knowing that these relays are going to count more points, but you know, sometimes you have to mix your team up. Sometimes you've got to pull some people out. You've got to make some changes. Do you load your team with one good team and one average team, or do you try and split the two teams and try and get the both up there? Well, the favorite's likely in lane number five. Two out of the three yesterday were won by the London War, but Team Iron, they would love to pull the upset out here at home. And all eyes are going to be on lane number five, the way that Minna Atherton swam yesterday. The world record may be in jeopardy right here in this first 100 backstroke that she's going to swim out of lane number five. Yeah, I spoke to her coach last night and they were really, really excited about the way she's swimming at the moment. Close to the world record on the, on the 50 and the 200. Split the difference. It could happen here. All right, here we go. Double points, 18 points for getting a win here. Medley relay, back press, fly and free, and then Atherton is head over heels so much better just out of the gate. Look at this first 50. Atherton, 26 6 her first 50. The world record we're looking at here is 55.03. It's a team event, it's about the team, but she came off to the best start. The great world record, there's no better start than that. The time you're looking at, 55.03. Oh, 100 back circuit, she's going to have her team almost a full body length lead. Atherton into the wall, touches 55.12. Less than a tenth off the world record. What a start. Fast the time, fast the time of history. We knew she was in good form yesterday. She swam a couple of great events. I think when it comes to the final in Vegas, if they're there, one of those world records will go, which has given her team the best start here. The ball in the lead, in the middle of the pool. Yeah, using the second fastest time in history to get it out. And carries down with Atherton after she had that great lead off 100 back show. Mina Atherton, what an amazing start. Just nine one hundredths outside of the world record for your lead-off leg. Yeah, I just went out and had a crack. Yeah, I'm really pretty happy with that. And you've got another go in the individual hundred as well. Yeah, I've got about half an hour to my next swim, so I'm down to see how I can go in that. Good luck. I'm loving that. Another chance for half an hour's time. She's like, she's trying to hold it. She's going to try to get the back of the So, and the difference, because of that great first leg, Who's going to catch one more at this point, especially the fact that they have Kate Campbell on the anchor like we saw her yesterday, 14 from behind. Nobody's going to catch one. They're going to win this quarter family relay. Yeah, so it's the ball with Marie Watson. Watson was showing that in the middle of the pool moment, leading the way, as you say there, Kate Campbell's going to get in this relay. I can't see them being caught, but not just about the team, it's about your second team behind. They need the points also. Four, six, first, and four, the half a moment. Alley Kerr, swimming well in lane number three. Kendall 
team up by going out there and putting them a good second ahead. They would never look like being caught after that first leg. This is great footage here, the breast struggles going in onto the fly. See how far the roar are ahead there. And then Kate Campbell bringing them home. Just a great relay, loaded that relay. We've got first and second, it just shows you the strength and depth in their freestyle sprinters. They've got 10 more points than they did a week ago. And the big story, though, as we head to our first 10 minute break here in Budapest, is the fact that Team Iron, the teams they've made, they're in the second, but London. In the lead after the first events in the books here in Budapest. Az a lényeg, hogy minél több pontot szerezünk itt, mely pályán is újúzunk gondolra, nem vagyunk itt a pontot. Happy New York Breakers. Happy? Happy? Yeah, we're doing good tonight. What are you going to take? We are going to make one change in the bike rider. Yeah, we're going to make one change in the bike rider. Yeah, we're going to make one change in the bike rider. Yeah, we're going to make one change in the bike rider. Yeah, we're going to make one change in the bike rider. Yeah, we're going to make one change in the bike rider. Yeah, we're going to make one change in the bike rider. Yeah, we're going to make one change in the bike rider. Yeah, we're going to make one change in the bike rider. Yeah, we're going to make one change in the bike rider. Yeah, we're going to make one change in the bike rider. Yeah, we're going to make one change in the bike rider. Yeah, we're going to make one change in the bike Thank you. There he is. Melody Marshall, London Raw. <laughs> you must be happy with how it's going so far. I'm very happy with that. Excellent. Still changing things? Still changing things. Keep it fresh. Um, so we're going to go Vinny Lanza out of the 50 fly. Krill Pagoda in. Um, and then the mixed relay, we're going Alex Gray and Bruno, Marie and Jeanette in our second team. And we're going Yuri, Kyle, Bronte and Emma in our set air first team. Winning solution there for you? Hope so. Right. Cheers, mate. Look, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yes, yeah, sir. All right. Uh, yes, sir. All right. Uh, we're going with uh, trying to stack a front relay as best we can. And uh, then we have a, a B that hopefully scores a few extra points. Uh, so we're giving it a go. Trying to get, we need a little energy here. Tonight hadn't been a good session so far, so we got to pick it up a little bit. There's still a few races to go. So. Yeah, a lot of good races, too. Yeah, we're going. We're going. Kevin Alpha, Team Iron. No changes this time. They no go changes. With, they go with open hand for session three. Good for you. Team Iron happy with where they are. New York Breakers happy with their start tonight. And Karen Sound with their head coach, Peter Andrew. Yes, Peter, you said you've made just the one change. And so throughout this session, are you just learning, changing tactics, and just um, based on how people are swimming? I mean, I, I think we're getting better and better every time we come out. So we're doing really well this, you know, this evening. And uh, I'm going to make a change with uh, Haley Black. We're gonna, we're gonna, she's going to be a little unfresh coming off the 50s, so we're going to go with Gabby Deloof 
in uh, 100 back. And do you feel with an event like this, which is so different to anything you've done before, that every time, every day, every session, you're just learning new things to take to the next match? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I've always just coached one athlete, and now I have a group of athletes, and I've got to know what they, how they're feeling and what they're doing good at. And so definitely I'll be learning. I mean, we're always learning, right? So, and that's the exciting part of it. So it's been a lot of fun. Are you finding some of the swimmers thrive on the big occasion and maybe some of the others are, are a bit daunted by it? Yeah, I know. I think they all thrive. You know, I think they're all professionals, so they're all thriving on it. I haven't seen any, like, daunted. I think there's such a nice team morale in, in our group here, so they're all having a lot of fun. And that's at the end of the day, right? If you're not having fun, it's, you're not doing well. So it's awesome. That's true. And the New York Breakers, Leah Neal, Luca. Their two captains. I think we've seen over the first two weekends that Brestrook has really been their specialty. They've picked up a lot of wins and a lot of top one, four finishes in the Brestrook events. Yeah, their they're, they're, they're breaststroke has been really strong. Um, but you need to spread the strength all over the team. London Roar picking up right where they left off yesterday. A great start to day two of the Budapest match coming off 32 points and a 1-2 finish in the 4x100 Natalie Relay. But the big story, Team Iron much improved from a week ago in Dallas. They currently sit in second place ahead of the LA Current. And again, you get four points as a team for a win and a match. Three points for second, two for third, and a point for fourth place in the man swimming 1,400 meters. Andrew Seliskar, he just swam the 400 freestyle. Now he's getting set for the 200 IM, and he is with Karen. Andrew, as you prepare for this 200 medley, how hard is it mentally to recover from a 400 race? Because you've, you've given yourself a tough schedule here. Yeah, it's definitely a bit of a challenge uh, swimming that race a couple of minutes ago, but uh, you know, that's what I'm here to do and that's what I'm going to do for uh, LA Current. I think it's kind of just part of the job and I'm excited to do it. And is it really something that's more mental than physical in, in preparing and being able to do races like you do? I think it's a little bit of both. Uh, it comes with experience and just having a very set routine on what to do between races when there's such a short you know, time period between them. And when it's so tough like this, do you actually get to enjoy the occasion? I like it. I think it's a change of pace. It's something we don't usually do. so. Uh, gives me the opportunity to work on different things and to, uh, you know, be bold, be strong. You're certainly doing that. Thank you. Well, a week ago in Dallas, Andrew Seliskar won the 200 IM. We'll see if he can get nine points for the LA Current. They currently sit third in the standings. London Roar trying to win back-to-back -back weekends. They're on top of the total here on day two in Budapest. <laughs> And again, to think about that grueling schedule that Andrew Seliskar has, five individual events, 1,400 meters, two 400s, three 200s. And when you take a look at the MVP, he's got a not quite as grueling of a schedule because we know that Hosu scheduled to swim eight individuals and one relay. She finds herself currently sixth. Right now, McKeon sitting on top of the MVP total, 33 points. Adam Peaty, 28 and a half. Uh, Morozov, though, you'd have to think that if he could perform well in the skins, he'd have a very good chance of moving up in the totals as Karen's with the head coach of Team Iron. Arpad. I am with uh, Arpad Petrov. You must be delighted with how day two is going of, of this meet. Yeah, we expected it to be better, and we, we stick to our last, last week's uh, schedule. So and now the, the middle section will be our strongest and the skins, I hope for the best. I really think we can catch a current. And you have big points in the 400 freestyle as well. Yeah, excellent, yes. With Henry Christiansen, we have a very, really strong addition. And also the, the girls were excellent. So do you think the crowd and the, the home pool is really making a difference to how your swimmers are performing? Absolutely, but also Dallas was the first time for most of the swimmers, they were ner nervous and they were a little bit too excited. And now this time, they know what to do and they are ready to do everything. They're doing great. Great, excellent. Lady Katika Hosu, in one of her eight individual events, she is ready for this weekend in Budapest.
I'm really excited to uh, start up the ISL season finally uh, with my team, Iron. Being a captain of the team, I definitely feel the responsibility to show a good leadership. I think it's going to be a lot of fun being on the team for everyone. It is amazing to, to be a part of a revolution for the sport. I think we are finally going in a direction to have a professional part of the sport. I'm definitely really excited for the relays. Obviously for the, for the team it's really important to, to swim great relays. But uh, the skin races are something that I think uh, hasn't really been done in swimming. So that should be really, really fun to watch. For the next weekend in Budapest, I think that's going to be even crazier. I can't wait to start. Skins day here in Budapest. The coach, Metro, the captain, Busu, and Peter John Stevens, vice captain this week. And their team. A lot of swimmers that are very versatile, a lot of more distance related swimmers, but the key for them is the fact that they do have those key cogs. Last weekend, they won the skins, and that's a huge game changer. Yeah, they've got Renomi and, uh, and also Morisov going, and they were exceptional last week. And, and, and as they're saying there, that makes a huge, huge difference. At the end of the program, when it's nearly over, you're getting some triple points in there, it can just change things. They can't afford to come third this week. They're leading 13, LA current at the moment. Lots more swimming to come, though. All right, it's London in the lead here on day two of the Budapest match. The final matchup for the Pool B teams before we turn our attention to the London Derby, the Washington DC Derby, where we'll have all the European teams and all the American teams gather. And our next event in the pool, 200 IM. We just talked to Andrew Salaskar. He's coming off that 400 freestyle, but this is an event he won in Dallas a week ago. We'll see if LA can get a big time performance. They were first and third a week ago, but Team Iron, they certainly have boosted their uh, the roster having David Brasto, he is a huge addition to the team here. He'll be in lane number eight. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and they're, they're very aware of this. I mean, Brasto obviously from Hungary. He's at home, he's not had far to travel. Um, but as you say, Skeleskar winning last week by over a second, just over Bentz uh, from Iron. So this could change. There's some tired bodies out there, some tired swimmers. There's also some fresh swimmers at the same time. But there's one thing, they all want to get to the wall first, they all want to do their bit for the team. There's the iron coming out. Gunnar Bench, he had a great performance a week ago. He finished second overall. And iron are swimming well at the moment, they know that. I mean, the, the rest of the team feed off that energy. They know they're leading current at the moment, they don't want to lose them like they did last week. They might not be as strong in the relays, but they're doing re well, really well in these individual events. And Andrew Stelisgar at only 23 years old, only one world championship medal long course, it was a bronze medal. In the 4x200 freestyle relay, to come to this summer, but he's got a lot of swimming left in his career, and you can just Ooh. see how versatile he is as an athlete. Great short course swimmer. Just in there in the core of this brutal, he's just run a four minute race, giving it everything. Some 15 minutes later, you're going again. 200 medley, going through all the strokes. Leading the way though, Salazar in four. Blue cap right there in the middle of the pool, but chasing him, Vinny Lanza. Brazilian, he's very good at butterfly. Gunnar Benz out in lane number seven. Josh Bruno, if he can be close, he has a great breaststroke leg, and he is sitting pretty comfortably right with the field, holding into that second place position. But we talked about how well rounded Zelaskar is. He can win the 200 IM, he can win the 200 breaststroke, he can win 400 freestyle. He's round fast in those walls. His turns are great, he's underwater, he's brilliant. Here he is onto the breaststroke leg. 
And he just won one race. He's going again. Down the first end of the breaststroke. Lovely packed stroke. Using the wall there, staying on as long as possible. Trying to, trying to reserve as much energy as possible for this last 50, but leading the wave over a body neck now. 1,400 meters of swimming. It doesn't phase Andrew Seliskar. Not in the slightest. He's trying to get another win here. And look at his teammate, Josh Bernal. He's used the breaststroke leg to move into second. Everybody trying to chase the LA current. They were first and third a week ago, trying to go one, two here in Budapest. Can Bernal hold on? That's the question. Andrew Salaskar, he's won the 200 IM back-to-back -back week, and he leads the current to a one-two finish. 16 points in the 200 IM for the LA current. Current needed that. Things have been slipping. Iron have taken control. Salaskar's pumped after that. Another victory. 153-1. Third fastest time in the world this year. Second fastest he went last week. He's just thri thriving off racing. Great short course swimmer. As you say, burning, very versatile. Into the wall, that finish. Great 200 freestyle, a really strong freestyle leg at the end. Yeah! Does it come any better? One, two. LA current pumped. Turn one, two, trying to climb back and fight for second place with the iron. And they picked up seven points in the differential. And now this place is about to go crazy. Osu. He's going to come out of the pool deck and swim in lane number eight. It's overall parking in one and two. to do some real damage in the scoring for Iron, who's already swimming so much better. They were first and fourth a week ago. Can the crowd here in Budapest raise them to a different level this week?
undulation, big fly kicks onto their back, great streamlined position. Again, using that dolphin clip to great use. This Hoshi into the wall, into the finish. Dominates the event. Katinka, that was a superb victory for you, but more importantly, racking up the points for Iron in this session. Definitely, I think it's amazing that we're able to come back so strong after Dallas, and the team is really getting together, and I think you can hear the cheering and the home crowd, so it's been amazing. The crowds are absolutely loving you. Yeah, definitely, it's awesome to be here. All right, time for the 50 fly. This is going to be quick. Michael Andrew, who is fourth at the World Championships, he will be in lane number two. Can he get his first ISL win here in the 50 fly? It's a real versatile sprinter. He can sprint anything, everything. As you say, he's third last time. The breakers need some points, they need them desperately. But there was only 0.04, four one hundredths of a second separating Tom Shields and Sebastian Zabo last week. Zabo of Iron. And Zabo is going to be in lane number seven. And again, you see Christoph Bielak, he's going to be in lane number eight. And we'll see Michael Andrew, Tom Shields. Those two will be in two and four. Michael Andrew would love to get his first ISL win after being third a week ago. Low and utter to the difference between Zappo and Tom Shields. Tom Shields there. Olympic wings on his chest. He's great. He's got great skills. Watch him off the start. Great underwater. Using that power. And again, you see Bielak swimming this. He's a 200 butterflyer, but he's doing it for the team here. Seconds, the fastest time in the world this year, going faster than Dressel. Great race, great time, a personal best time for him. Putting it out in front of his home crowd, putting out those nine points from the iron. See his tempo there, all the time on his grip, the head down to the finish, no breathing. Tom Shields clawing back, but not enough pull. First and fourth is Milak tied with Dylan Carter, so that'll be 13 and a half points for Team Iron. Wow, what a weekend they're having here in Budapest. And they have a 10 point advantage over the LA Current now with 313 points. London Roar still remain on top. As it's time for the women's 50 butterfly. Billy Black and Larson, they're going to be in one and two. This is certainly all about setting up the skins because Larson's a breaststroker. And they've taken Luma out of this 50 butterfly to kind of make sure that she is ready for the skins later on tonight. Well, that's because the skins are so important. You know, there's triple points at stake. Bloom, Olympic champion in Rio over the 50 freestyle. She's got form, but she's not been swimming the best at the moment. So they've probably figured, give her a little bit more rest. Give her a better chance. They get same story. Another breaststroker, Alea Atkinson, swimming the 50 fly. She, I mean, she's a powerful swimmer. You know, breaststroke is a powerful stroke. Fly is a powerful stroke. It's a longer stroke using two arms at a time. There's some similarities. It's not completely the same. But the bottom line is, Katinka, or the team coach, has said to her, can you get in? Can you do a job for us? We need some points. So does it favor Carol Gastadello? She won this event a week ago. She is right next to Osmond, who set a number of Egyptian records, including one in this event a week ago. Osmond was third at the World Championships in this event. Hey, come on. Come on. 
1-2 last week. London went three points in last week. What's going to happen this time? Holly Garrett. She got off the blocks extremely well, and everybody's trying to track her down in lane number six. Tight, tight racing, opposite sides of the pool, exactly the same time, splitting the points. LA current, London rule. Oh. Let's go, Frida! And right now they're in a battle for second place with Team Iron. No, arguably, arguably you've got two of the best backstrokers in the world. But they need to deliver now. They need to get a one-two. Guido is on form, as you say, second fastest time in history yesterday over the 50. 32 years of age. Really experienced tonight. And use that speed, go out hard, try and hold on. There's the London Wall with Petey. Competition strong makes faster time. Murphy there, closest to the camera, and three up from the camera there, sorry. Off the start, here into the wall, as a turn, Guido was way ahead. Murphy though, pushed him all the way down that last then. Tight finish in the end. From the iron at the top of the pool, Galinta getting third. First and fifth for the London Board. The breakers will lose a point. And a 
Marcus Gush did not make the minimum time standard, so only two points for the New York Breakers. 13 for the Roar, 12 for LA Wait, Current. And that will move LA back into second place with 328 points. One more opportunity to see Atherton swim this weekend in Budapest. She's going to be in lane number six in this Hunter backstroke as they bring them out of the pool deck. Nine one hundreds off the world record. Forty-five minutes ago. Yeah, we'll just see what we we'll see what she's got left in the tank. I mean, she seemed pretty exhausted. A half an hour's a long time. It's not too long. It's interesting from these things. Some athletes, some swimmers, they use that first phase. It almost gets their system going. It gets them energized. It doesn't tire them, it energizes them. The world record holder, she is in lane number seven. Katika Hosu, 55.03. But Atherton, she has been all around it the last two weeks. We'll see if Hosu can use this home pool advantage. How about the start to the career for Minna Atherton, 19 years old. She was second at the World Championships in this event. Behind Kylie Mass. Obviously, she's the star. She's the Hungarian queen. But Atherton's going to lead this race. She's going to lead the race. Whether she can get actually Hoshu's world record, will Hoshu be in the race when a world record goes? The split you're looking for at 50 meters is 26.93. That's what Hoshu swam in the first 50 meters when she broke the world record. She's so dominant. She's over a body length ahead of the turn. Here she goes, 26.52. That's a tenth better than she was in the relay split earlier. Atherton's going to have a chance for history tonight in Budapest. Watch her go in lane number six. Meta Atherton, the class of the field for the London Roar. Atherton flying to the tire. How do you like the sound of that? Oh, that's amazing. I just can't really believe it yet. First swimmer under 55 seconds as well. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. I'm super happy with that swim, especially after my relay swim before. Yeah, I'm just stoked. Was it good to have two goes at it? Yeah, first time. Just went out for my team, and obviously I was just a bit off. But I came out for my second one and just gave it a red hot crack. That was amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Every time Atherton jumps into the pool, she gets faster. <laughs> she does. I just gave it a red hot crack. <laughs> there was no exhaustion there from the first race, was it? Normally you get out and go, oh, I'm tired. This race is not really so, it's not so easy. But she just pulled off a huge one there. Next to Hoshu. Breaks a world record. And what does that do for the team? Setting a world record. Look at everybody. Elation and pure joy for our teammates. Just awesome. And these sort of competitions, the rivalry, but also the togetherness. I was so excited. What a way to lead into the next race, into the men's relay. Right, another 
opportunity, double points. And folks, this is a wild one. It's the mix. Four by 100 freestyle relay. And one round. We see a couple of different strategies. Sometimes they put the female swimmers first, so let the male swimmers try to track everybody else down. A lot of white water, though, for the female swimmers to swim through. The way the teams are generally set up nowadays, they put a, a man first, a man second, and a woman and a woman. That's simply because putting the big guys first, they create waves. Having a woman swimming against them is like swimming in a washing machine. So you want to get the big guys out first, try and create an advantage, try and get a lead. Try and give your women swimmers an advantage, let them swim in clearer water, but it does get washy in there. There's a lot of waves. Double points on the line. And while it looks like the London Roar clear the rest of the field, there's a huge battle brewing for second place. Take your mark. And unless the LA Current are going to get remarkably better in the skins, they really need a couple of great events here from this relay and the 200 butterflies to try to really set the tone. Yeah, current really, really needs some points. Leading the way at the moment, though, is Raw. It's tight in the middle of the pool. McAvoy Chalmers leading Raw out. But it's current leading the way. And Karen's down with Minna Atherton's coach there after that world record performance. I am. I'm here with David. David, I know this is a team event, but how special was that? Oh, it's fantastic. Um, I've been coaching Minna since she was 11 years of age, so obviously to spend that whole time, I mean, it's been part of that whole journey the whole time is, oh, that's just such a unique result. I'm almost lost for words. It's fantastic. Oh, it's a great job. Well done. Appreciate it. Thank you. And to do it in the world's first and only professional swimming league of environment it just shows you what this environment means for the swimmers how much they step up because of the atmosphere that's here it's a kind of unknown thing. it's a new competition it's a new competition format but they're not swimming for themselves they're not even it's not a world championship or olympic games that they're sort of used to and they're just having one event in the evening it's all about them this is all about their team and for some people that means an awful lot some people put too much pressure on themselves individually the men are finished, the women are into the water. It's a tight race, there's five teams in at this moment. It's anyone's. Yeah, maybe give the edge right now to the LA Kurt there in lane number three. Chadwick Peroni swimming the first two lakes. Marco Freer swimming this third lane, but can never count out the London Roar. They're like magicians on the relay. There's a raw one this last week by two and a half seconds. They're not going to win it this week by two and a half seconds. Not the way things are going at the moment. Current leading the way. They need the points. Double points, remember. Earn are getting very close. And as you say, Bernie, I'm really strong in the skin, so they need to make points right here. Leading the way into the last leg. Current first, raw in second. And it goes down to the final leg. by 100 mix relay. LA Current, Tesla swimming in lane number three. London Roar. Taylor McEwen swimming the anchor lane. And man, it doesn't get any tighter than that with 50 meters to go. Oh, this is gonna go time, this is gonna go down to the wire. Taylor McEwen is in for London Roar in five. She's got half a point left between her and the other swimmer now. She is having a phenomenal final leg. London using the energy from the world record and turning it into a relay win. 18 points for the London Roar. Current are second and the New York Breakers third. Set the table in that mixed 4 by 100 freestyle relay. Yeah, it's interesting. You watch, this, you watch the, the clip there. You see the start. There's nice calm water in front of them. And then it just gets washy. So there we go. 
six points for the London Roar, 20 points for the LA Current, and eight points the difference between the Current and the Iron. LA currently second. Butterfly and Skins, though, still to come from Budapest. And it's another opportunity for the coaches to make an adjustment to their lineup. The 200 Butterfly and the 50 Skins remaining. Any changes? No changes on this one. Thank you. Well done, Jeanette. Well done. Uh, we're going to put Emma McKeon in the skins, take Bronte Campbell out. Would you have a better night? I don't think so. I don't think so. We had great team building last night. We watched Halifax. Uh, huh? David. Got no changes. Let's roll with this thing. Get it, get it to the skins. Let's go. It's going to be a good show all the way down the wire. All the way down the wire. Let's go. What can I do for you? No changes. No changes. the skins. But we have the 4x50 mix relay. Because it, yes. could, it could be a tie between current and us. It won't be. Won't be because we'll win the skins, but if, if we will do it. <laughs> Karen down on the pool deck with the LA Current head coach, David Marsh. I am, and, and David, you're having a good old tussle with the iron at this match. Wow, huh? So in, the, in the first session, we started a little slow, really came on strong this session. So proud of the team for turning it around and getting it going there in the sec second session. We're going we're gonna to make it a race to the end. It's gonna, we're going to see how it goes, but uh, we have some nice, uh, nice, nice finishing here in the Tuna Fly and, and the uh, skins. And of course, the skins went really well for iron in Dallas, so are you looking to make some tactical changes or relying on the big guns to come through this time? No, we have some tactical changes. Uh, uh, Ryan swam on that relay, so he'll come back out of it. But he, he actually does better, I think, when he doubles up. Nathan's fresh, he didn't do that relay. And B, I mean, B swam 23-8 yesterday, so I'm very excited about Beryl and how she's done, she's setting French records every time she races. And some of your swimmers are really stepping up and having a grueling schedule. We've seen Andrew Seleskar take the win in the medley after a 400 freestyle. You must be pretty proud of your team. I'm so proud. i tell you what, the, these guys, and they're asking for these doubles. I'm telling you, I had, to, I had to beg Tom Shields to not do this relay right there so he could be fresh for the turn of fly. He was absolutely dying to do it. So these guys all want to step up. They all want to swim multiple events. They want to score the points. And that's what this thing, the ISL is all about. That's awesome about this. The meet is all about points. It's not about times. It's about points. Very unique in swimming. That's great. And indeed, all about the racing. And LA Current, they like to have a whole lot better performance this week in the skins than they had a week ago. It was the iron winning with Puka Jojo and Borisov, both the skins. Lights are on, and the swimmers putting on a show here in Budapest. London leading the way with 439 and a half points. Big reason why Adam Peaty joined the roster, and he has got to be enjoying what he's doing this week in Budapest. Adam, you must really love this meet. Coming in, this is your first time in the ISL. How much are you enjoying it? Oh, it's been brilliant. Absolutely amazing. Like, I've never, ever felt an energy like this. And I think it really helps bring in all the different cultures, all the different team members around the world and bring them together. It really, really helps us drive it forward. And as every time we come out or someone else comes out from the team, you really, really feel that energy. You don't want to let your team down. I know that 200 breaths the other day, yesterday, sorry, I was just on that last 100, I was dying, but I knew my team were going to cheer me on and I just couldn't, you know, slack off. So it was good. And I think that's something people probably don't know about you is that they see you the individual swim, but actually you love being part of a team. Oh, I love the team. I live for the team, especially this team. It's, you know, obviously you got your Great British team, you know, you got your Olympics, you got your World Championships, but they're the championships. This is the new generation swimming. It's compact, it's tight, the race is fast, even though we're all in hard training, and it's just an amazing thing to experience. Thank you. Adam Peaty 
A lot of people thought he may have a chance to be the MVP. Certainly he's going to be among some of the top swimmers this weekend, currently fourth at 28 and a half points. But Katinka Hosu leading the way. She's still got the 200 fly to come here in Budapest. And the big story, how much better Hosu and the Iron have swum on week two here in Budapest. Currently sitting third, but they are certainly at arm's length away from the LA Current. Really no doubt about it at this point that the London Roar are going to pick up their second win. They put together a great roster top to bottom, right Karen? Yeah, they certainly have. And I'm with Rob Woodhouse, the general manager of London Raw. Now, Rob, you were a swimmer yourself back in the day. How much would you have loved to have been in the water swimming in an event like this? Oh, absolutely. It would have been uh, absolutely brilliant. It's great to be a part of this in this opening season. The team's doing so well, but all the teams are, all the swimmers and coaches, they're loving it and the fans are loving it. So bring it on. Did you think it was going to be tougher here with the iron in the home pool, having the, the crowd cheering them on? Did you think maybe they'd push you a bit more? Yeah, very much so. And they, they also, their the second day in the first match in Dallas, they were, uh, they were a lot stronger than the, um, the first day. So we knew they'd be tough to beat. Home crowd makes a big difference. And they've come out to fight. They want that second place now, and it's going to come down to the skins to decide that. And of course it is a team event, but it must have been special seeing one of the London Raw get that world record. Oh, it was amazing. It was, uh, she just missed it in the relay, of course, leading off the uh, medley relay, but absolutely smashed it there. And uh, very, very excited uh, for Minna, but also excited for coach David Lush as well, who's in this team. Of course it's special that he was here to see that and be there and celebrate with her. Yeah, very much so. And uh, look, we've got a couple of events to go. Minna's very happy. She's very excited. It's a few more events to go, just got to finish it off now and then we'll maybe go out and celebrate it a little bit. And of course, Iron were very good in the skins in Dallas. Are you making some tactical changes, look to pick up some more points this time? We're actually going with the same four, the same two guys and the same two women uh, as we used in Dallas. Um, nothing really changed technically, I mean the skins is all just dash and splash really, so we'll see how they pull up. Um, Emma McCann in particular has had a very, very busy day, so uh, we'll see how they go. How much fun is it going to be, Mark, to see the London Roar in London next week in that European Derby? You take a look at their roster. This is a team that is built to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Energy Standard. Yeah, both of them are going to go in there also with two wins with maximum points, eight points. But it's going to be uh, pride and honor who's going to be the top team in Europe when they obviously then a couple of months later go out to Vegas. Um, some great individual swimmers in there, but it's the team as a whole that, that, that wins this championship. And they got a world record performance for Atherton. Just getting started at 19 years old. Oh, she just looks so good. Dominating off the start. Coming to the wall over a body at the head. I mean, that's a bit 54.8 seconds. That's a crazy time. Being the ex-world record holder as well. And it happened to be Hoshu in her own pool. London. Looking good to get four points after the weekend here in Budapest. In the lead with 439 and a half points. What a night. And the good news, we are just getting started in the International Swimming League. It's the final matchup between the Pool B teams here in Budapest so next week. And then we'll have off, period. and then another week we off before we go to Washington, D.C. The, the American Derby a week later, the London the Derby. Two top two teams, teams in America, record. top two teams in Europe. Emily They'll Hall. meet in Las Vegas Thomas. just a couple days before Christmas at Video Mandalay Bay. They're going to build a pool Car. at Mandalay Bay. That's going to be awesome. Ball. It's one of these things that you know, swimmers dream of swimming in. In front of people, like I've never swam in Vegas. Every boxer wants to go to Vegas, but I would never swim, I want to go to Vegas as well. That's all these shows have been talking about. Can they make it to Vegas? And, and the crazy story is that we've already seen a world record, and not everybody's rested, not everybody's shaved. We've talked to all the coaches, everybody's going to be rested, they're all going to be shaved. 
How many world records are we going to see in Las Vegas? Yes, let's hope we see a lot of world records. It's another month's time until the next event, and then another month again. So the middle of December, well, end of December for the final. Two months away. A lot more training to be done, a lot more racing to be done, a lot more fine tuning to be done. And how much fun is the battle for the team race going to be? Final race of the night for Hosu. She's going to be in lane number seven. Belmonte's going to be in lane number five. Looks like Belmonte, from what we see this weekend, not purely back to her normal fitness that we see her in. Yeah, Belmonte not been our best this week, but she is the world record holder in this event. 159.6 seconds. Five years ago she did that. That's five of six seconds faster than anyone else has been in the world this year. So she doesn't have to be at her best to, be, to win the race, but we need her somewhere near it. She needs to turn up, she needs to show us something. Good start. Katie McLaughlin, she's in lane number four. She was third in Dallas a week ago. Talk about closely, those two have had so many memorable performances this weekend in the IMs. Can they put something special together here in the butterfly? This is a grueling event to do at the end of the two day competition. There's a lot of tired bodies out there, a lot of tired arms, a lot of tired minds. It's going to come down to these races that are going to make the difference. This is tight, especially between the LA current and the iron. Watch her up there in lane seven. She was still in front of her own crowd, not just for the MVP, but for her team. She wants to be in Vegas to have a shot at this as well. It's LA current leading the way for Clockley. This is big again, the battle between the LA Current and Team Iron, trying to get as many points as they possibly can to try to separate the Current from Team Iron before they go into the skins. And the Brooklyn turns versus the Fuels of Pimaco. Jehoshi wins in Dallas last week, the Brooklyn wasn't in the race. This time she's, she's leading. In a week, what a difference a week can make. Into the last turn. Good touch, around quickly. She won't be looking at Hoshi, she'll just keep her head down. She'll be in pain, she'll be burning, but she'll just try and get to the yeah. floor. Yeah. Hoshi comes, Hoshi, Hoshi coming home. The crowd on their feet. Can she outblast her down the stretch? It is Hoshi! She gets in, she touches first. She gets the win for Team Iron. Oh, what a final 25. She really turned it on coming home. And that means so much to her, four hundredths of a second at the end of that race. But more importantly, two points difference. Nine points to seven points. That's a four point swing. It would have been the other way. It would have been nine points to the current and seven to I. That's how important these finishes are. We've talked about them all night. The tight finishes are the ones to get. Opposite sides of the pool. The Iron Lady was one more spectacular performance here at home. You see she's behind there. But she's got her head down, she's fighting to the end. Who gets their arms in the first? It's that lady. Nine of that weekend capped by a win of the 200 bar. Katinka Hosu, after the amount of racing you've done tonight, where do you find a finish like that? Well, that finish was for the team. I mean, we need, we need those points for sure. You certainly do. That was an amazing swim. Yeah, thank you. What a finish. And now they have a chance to win this 200 butterfly because they've got the world record order in lane number eight. Golf course in the 200 butterfly, Chris Milak, he's gonna be in lane number eight. Gunnar Benz certainly is up to the task in this event as well. They were first and fourth in Dallas. Can they improve the performance? They'll have to battle against Wisconsin, who was second in Dallas. 
Jack Conger comes third. He'll be right there in the middle. But the world champion will be the one to watch in lane number eight at the top of the screen. Tom Shields, yes, he won the race, but he can go so much faster. Another tight finish to Iron. So, Kate, it, the Skins event is a very different animal to any other race. How do you prepare yourself to go three 50s on three minutes? Uh, it's actually not that different to, to what we do in training. So I think that um, us sprinters are quite used to getting up and doing repeat 50s. Uh, but it's, it's definitely the most important event on, on the program. There's the most points up for grabs. So uh, it's really, really important that uh, you get through as many rounds as possible to get maximum points for your team. And of course, with such tough opposition, getting through the, the first round even is hard. 
Yeah, and, and, and that's where, you know, a little bit of tactics come into play. You, you, you want to make it through, so you, but you need to swim fast. Uh, you know, it's such a tough field and, and, and we've got, you know, Olympic champions, world champions, world record holders in, in this field. So uh, you can't just, you know, take a step back in the first 50. You really have to go after it. Um, and then hopefully you have enough energy to get through the next two. So do you think for you that's the tactics that are different for a week ago is maybe just not sit back so much on the first one? Yeah, yeah, it's it, it's really about um, playing the field and, and playing your cards, right? And um, just trying to do the rounds, trying to uh, use as, as little energy as possible in, in, in each round, but um, we're dealing with tenths and hundredths of a second. So uh, your margin for error, error is extremely small. It sure is. Have a great swim. Thanks. And the London Roar, once again, will make the change and add Emma McKeon onto their roster. They felt like she did great last week. Why not do the same story this week? Hosu, she is currently the leader in the MVP battle with 47 points. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, I think the only one that can actually um, overcome her is Emma McKeon. Yep. London Roar, see what adjustments they make in the skins. Again, this is how important it is. Look at the difference even between round one and round two. You don't want to be left in fifth place where you only bring home five points. No, you make top four, you get 10 points as opposed to four points. A six point swing from fourth to fifth. And then again, making it through to the top two, 21 points so to 12 the stage points. Is now. It's massive. Only two races remain. A chance for triple, triple points. points Kate Campbell, Koma Jojo, will those two square off in the final or will somebody move in front of them on the way to that final round? Last week it was Kate Campbell's teammate, Emma McKeon, that squeezed her out. Campbell got it wrong long time, wrong last time. Can she get it right this time? London in the lead, but only six points. The difference between the LA Current and Team Iron here in Budapest. And it's the moment you've been waiting for, the skins race, where triple points to first and second, 27 points for first, 21 points for second. A potential for a 48-point haul if a team can get both swimmers into the final. Yeah, that, then that's what, that, this is where we're going to see a huge swing, if that can happen. Swimming fans, it's time! And Ayn have got problem with Jojo, and then they've got Morisov going, two of the best freestyle sprinters in the world. But the other team's got some good people there too. Here are the participants for the New York Breakers. Madison Wilson and Fernella Bluma. And remember Bluma, she's had a much lighter final day. We'll see if that pays off. Yeah, she needed the rest. She's not been in the best form. We know, she, we know what she's got in the tank. She's an Olympic champion. That doesn't happen without having potential, without having that talent. She can pull some swims out. Bill Quist and Gastadella going for the LA Current. For the London Roar, Kate Campbell and Emma McKeon. And the winner a week ago will be in lane number eight, Bernomi Koma Jojo swimming at home. She has swum so well. Can she win back to back skins races? It's, it's interesting what Kate said there, because what they're trying to do is if you're potentially if you're one of the, 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 the fastest swimmers, you try and back off a tiny bit and just give yourself a little bit for the next round. But when you start getting it's so, so tight, you can't really do that. She made a mistake last time when it came through to the second round. I don't see any mistakes being made this time. She'll have learned. Now if they're on the edge of their seats. First round of the skins, eight swimmers on the blocks at the moment. Only four will go through. Your top four will go through.
Some of the swimmers will stay in the water. Swimming back, try to swim some of the lactate out. Gastadello inched out McKeon by seven one hundredths of a second. So McKeon, she is out of the race for the MVP. It's going to be Hosu, who's going to be this weekend's MVP. Now we know that she's bumped. Getting some of the food to the next round. That's a massive pass. They're the points that they need. Mine has still got something there as well. So he's still standing in the water. He'll stand as long as possible. So we'll get out of the sunset next year. We saw that he's standing behind the athletes. Right down. Trying to get rid of that lactate. Trying to make them relaxed. Trying to get as much air in as possible. I'm going to refer to it. I'll tell you, it seems to drag when you're watching the screen. You've got to trust me. You've just run 50 and you're blowing. That clock's going down really quick. So just I'm not sure they will tell you, but uh, just do the same thing. That was beautiful. I mean, you've got it, eh? Yeah. Awesome. Break it off, break! Break it off, break! Break it off, break! Just had a little bit of an extra rest there, Bloom. The time has paid off, didn't it? Absolutely. They need the points. There's big points at stake. Two. It was always going to be those two. It was always going to be tight. They're hurting, but they can't see what's going on on this side of the pool. They've got to keep their heads down. And now only one team can score 27 points. Will it be the London Roar, Kate Campbell? Or will Koma Jojo take it for the second straight week? I can tell you now, LA Curran will want Kate Campbell and the London Moor to win this, not the iron. They don't want the iron getting points. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the things when you're just the athlete and you're puffing hard. He's trying to cover, recover. You're just hoping your opponent's more tired than you are. There's tired bodies at the end of two days of hard competition. There's Cam. You're the best finisher I've seen, right? That's what we need, the best finisher we've seen. Right, keep it low. Right, let's go, Kate, come on, let's go. This is 
just awesome. Come on, Jojo. She's got the start. She knows she's got a better start, but she knows Campbell's going to chase her down. 30 seconds to go. Their hearts are pounding, their adrenaline's going. Stay calm. Get your breath. Almost everybody's on the edge of their seats here in the Duna Arena. The Duna on iron. They're going to be behind for more Jojo. There's a wall behind Campbell there. Who's going to go into the hurt tank? Take your marks. in the skins events of the ISL. You are the queen of skins. Oh, this time I really loved it. It was fun. The whole team cheering for me. All the Hungarian people. I really loved it. The whole pool was behind you. The crowd loved it. I really loved it. Now I feel okay, but I think in one minute I'm gonna lay down. You deserve it. Thank you. What a show. And lie down, she's allowed to. You saw that on the replay, it was over on the start. You see how much it means to the team. She's got her team in the second by 11 points. What a powerful swimmer. That, 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 that start's just absolutely blistering. That was the difference. 27 points plus the three from Kimbo. 30 points added to the total. It's a 17-point difference between the Iron and the LA Current. Skips the difference that make the difference. All right, let's do it again. Men skins now. Team Iron won this event as well a week ago. And Michael Andrew, he'll be in lane number two. We'll see if he made an adjustment from week number one. He was in shot of moving on to the semi-final. The host for the LA Curtain, Nathan Adrian in three. Ryan Held in four. Five and six. Cameron McAvoy and Kyle Chalmers. What a beat it's been for Chalmers. And for Team Iron, the MVP, Vladimir Morozov won the skins a week ago. He'll have the crowd behind him. Yeah, they're right behind the iron now. Won the first skin, can they win the second? Here we go, the same drill again. Eight swimmers, only four will go through. There's no messing about. React to the gun. Get into that water. And go, there's the wall. Thank you. 
together. It's Marshall at the top of the ball. Adrian coming back. Thomas coming back. Good job, baby. He is good without a shakeout. chance for the breakers okay. and Peter Andrews team to break through to get a chance to go for triple points. These guys when they swim 50 meters they okay. don't breathe as well that's what I say about deep breaths suck the air in try and get the heart rate down the lactate's going to be in there that's just going to okay. build you've got to deal with that. But try and keep your head try and stay focused. Breakers Michael Andrew, he's in lane number three. Nathan Adrian in lane number four. Chalmers in five. And Borisov in six. The final last time was Morisov against Nathan. They were the two that advanced. Can, can, can Michael Andrew or Cameron McAvoy upset things here? This is big, especially for the LA Current. They are trailing. The iron for second place. They need Nathan Adrian to move on to the final of the skins. Otherwise, the oh, race is over. Well, it's over this week. Finish. Last arm stroke. Chalmers takes it. Morisov. Adrian third. Michael Andrew fourth. Adrian and, Mor and, and Andrew go out. Morisov. And Chalmers. 
through to this last round. The clock ticking, 1-9. He's smiling, he seems happy. Didn't make the final last week, made the final this week. There's Morisov, round the back, Crowley, Crowley. One race to go and their weekend's work is done. Does it help him that he did this a week ago, that he's gone all the way through all these paces? Yeah, he's been through it, he knows what to expect. It's a little bit of the unknown, I mean, the, the known is that it's going to hurt. They're both going to hurt. Skins once again. Yeah, he's taking some big, deep breaths. Carl Chalmers breathing heavy, sucking in the air, shaking the arms out. He looks ready to go. He does. Maybe he's trying to sight more so that. We're not going to see that like Pumas Jojo going away and starting here from Cape Town, but that's not going to happen. This is going to be tough. There's the wall trying to get behind Chalmers. Chalmers in four. Morozov in five. Last race of the night. 50 skins final. Congratulations, a great weekend. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Derby time coming up next in November. American Derby in Washington, D.C. European Derby in London. And right now in the European standings, it's Energy Standard with eight points, London Roar with eight points, all trying to punch their ticket to Las Vegas. Man, things are fun, and we can't wait to see you in a couple of weeks in Washington, D.C. as the ISL continues its tour.